morning. My name is Peter Wang. Um, I believe everybody uh, read uh, my background uh, on the brochure already. I was, uh, before I, in my current job, I worked for Los Angeles <laughs> County uh, Beauty and Safety. I was a plan checker, and then later on, I become the office manager, which district engineer I my jurisdiction, where I govern is in Rolling Heights, Hacienda Heights, part of Warner, part of La Ponte. You can say from south of 10 Freeway, east of 605, all the way to the San Bernardino County area, and then south to the adjacent to Orange County. It's quite big though. The, also, I, I was a building official for the city of Irwindale and city of industry. And I'm sorry about last time, I think I mixed up with the time, and I thought it was at night. And I said, 9 or 8 30. No, and Mindy called me and said, 8 o'clock, so where are you? I said, I thought it was during the night, and so I apologize for that one. Okay, ADU. How many people know about the ADU, Assessor Drought Unit? How many people really know about it? Or you just heard about it, right? As this is a drug union, if you go research, it's based on a, a, a Senate Bill 1069. When they started you know, the, the whole the bill, and it was a, actually it was effective last year, January 1st, 2017. Everybody said, why ADU become so popular right now? Right? Was the ADU never happened before? Actually, the ADU was there for a long time. You just didn't figure it out. All right? Granny House. A lot of people heard about Granny House. A lot of people hear about the in-law house, right? Also, the, the guest house. And second union ordinance, right? Now it's ADU. It's all no changes throughout the years. Okay, let me uh, just bring in some why ADU become all of a sudden so popular. It's all resulting in the old global or the, the entire California economic situation. All right. Throughout the year, in the since you know, the 1970 all the, all, the, all the way down, and then each you know, the city and local government. Before, you, you, know, you know how many cities you know, they actually formed in the LA County in the last 50 years? And then so many local cities was forming in the last 50 or 60 years. It wasn't that many you know, cities before. And then a lot of the you know, community, when they formed the city, they, they start stringing their zoning and general plan requirement. Okay? Let me give you another you know, difference, a lot of, a lot of difference you know, the, between so-called zoning and general plan, all right? Zoning basically is regulate the use, like you can use as single family house, apartment building, or uh, a light commercial, manufacturer, office building, all this use. And then the general plan is re actually regulate the density. Okay, how many houses I want to in my the northeast of my city? How many you know the you know the unit density I want to regulate? For example, like say city of West Covina, all right? They intentionally put like their manufacturer or whatever zone and close to Bowen Park because. They think Bowen Park may not be really you know, the high value area. And then they're putting a lot of you know, the good house near Warner, South Hill, right? So they have a big lot because they adjacent continuity with the, the, the Warner area. That's the zoning and general plan. And throughout the year, actually, they start stranging like a Hambra. They've been downgrading their zoning. For example, like certain area in the chapel and the valley area used to be R2 zone. Right now, they still R2 zone, but
but they regulate how many nodes drill, drilling per square foot. For example, before you, it's 3,000 per union. Right now, they upgraded to 7,500 square foot per union. So in other words, used to, you, you used to send exactly lot, send exactly zoning, used to, you used to, can, you, you can build two units in that lot, now you can only build one unit, right? So they actually kind of downgrade your zone, increase your score footage, and they play the mass game. And then LA County, the same thing, they used to allow the flag lot, which allowing the, the, the which are allowing the, the uh, frontage to the street only 25 foot. Right now, they said minimum the lot fronting the street have to be 50. So they, they double your frontage and make you know, the, the flag lot no, no more no, the possible. <coughs> so all these you know, the actions throughout the year at each local government, each you know, local jurisdiction, they push. And that cause the problem that land and structure become more valuable, right? Because there's no way you can build, no way to increase the density. And then also the biggest problem for the California is the mass transportation. No matter how they try, right now the, the, the subway still is not convenience, okay? And then their, their, their bus system and their metro link yeah, it provides certain degree of convenience for the people in downtown LA, but it does not you know, really help the metropolitan area in the great Los Angeles area. So a lot of people still rely on driving, okay? And that's the thing. And the other thing is the salary, the hourly rate, okay? All the hourly rate workers, they're not getting you know, the pay enough, so they cannot afford to you know, continue to, 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 to raise the increased rate of the salary, an increased rate of the rent that's incompatible. So that's the reason why I think this ADU was actually kind of created due to this kind of multiple situation. Infrastructure, traffic, affordability, and then there was a stranging of the, the, the local government, all these kind of things. So Senate bill started, and then Assembly bill follow up. The Senate, uh, Senate bill, you know, the 1069, and co go with you know, the uh, Assembly bill 2299, and Assembly bill, bill 2049. And all these things come back together, and they address each question. The most important thing is, this, this state law unlock most you know, the, the local jurisdiction jurisdictions restriction. All right, they kind of force people said you have to let people you know, build these things. All right, okay, I'll give you, you know, a little background about why ADU over sudden start and why ADU over sudden popular. The reason is. It be it become a very very you no know, publicized, you know they publicized by most of the media, all right, and also not because it all of a sudden become more fashionable talking about ADU. It's also because recent like social media. You not see how many last people they start become use WeChat or you no know, link link it and or use Facebook or use Line to talk to each other, right? Most of the time you spend a lot of time to, you know, swipe you know, the OD your phone and look into the new information. You almost you look into the every 10 minutes, you're going to pull out your phone and take a look. But in five, five years ago, you hardly do that, right? So also this kind of information become more publicized because social media too. And the ADU, you know, the, the State Department of State is trying to tell you how great that is. But I'm going to tell you something is not exactly what you see. Okay? It, it, it sounds good, it looks good, 
but it may not be no, that easy. Okay. ADU basically is only allowed in single family zone. If you are currently R2 zone, like you have a duplex, you're not going to allow to put in an ADU. The whole bill is actually based on so-called infill method. Say you have you have a, 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 a part of the uh, flower. So you take another flower, you start infilling in between. Okay? So it's kind of infill method trying to build the ADU. They're going to allow you every single family house to build an accessory drilling unit. And they, they, they're very relaxed on the parking. Most of the time, we're having problems with the parking, right? And then they say, hey, you're not going to ask in additional parking. You can only additional, you may be asking for additional parking space, which is uncovered, okay? You can reserve as long as they have a space, you have to allow them. And also, if they have, that the house is within the half mile walking distance to the bus, train station, subway station, any ride share location, you cannot, you can, now, you can have a zero parking on your house right now. In other words, said I'm in Roland High, right? I walk in you know, the Colima, within five, uh, Colima Road, you know, the, the bus stay, the, the bus stop, within half mile. I have a two car garage. I don't want to spend any money, right? I don't want to spend, so I just want to convert whatever my existing garage to be ADU. You can do that right now. You don't need you don't you can you don't need any parking anymore. You don't even need to spend any money now. You can spend some money to conversion, but it's very minimal. All right. So, and also if you are in the so-called historical area, which is downtown LA, and you don't have any you know, the parking requirement before, and you don't even have you know, the, any uh, uh, street parking available, they're going to allow you, the state law says you cannot, since you never required before, so you're, going to not, you, you're not going to require right now. And also said, I have a parking garage in the back, and with a zero lot line to my neighbor. I want to convert that one to be my ADU. Can you do that? Yes, you can do that right now. You don't even need a setback requirement if you're converting existing structure. Okay? If you are within, if you're not requiring for any additional parking, so basically, yes, you can convert that existing garage to be an ADU. All these things is trying to really, but again, they only allowed in R1 zone, single family house, R1, A1, whatever, okay, single family house zone. And basically, they are, uh, they have a limit. Most of, most of jurisdiction right now is, you, if you detach, if you meet a setback requirement, you're allowed to have up to 1,200 square feet. But normally, if you attach with the main house, and you suppose only have half, uh, 50 percent, you cannot no more than 50 percent of your existing main building, and up to 1,200 square feet. For example, said you have 2,000 square foot house, and if you want to build attach, you know, the attach with the main house, and then your maximum is 1,000. Say you have 5,000 square foot house. And you want to build an attach, your the maximum is 1,200 because you cannot more you cannot more than 1,200. But you are no you up your limitation is 50 percent of existing house. Every city are different. Okay. They some city for example like Temple City, you cannot build ADU in front of your main house. Now, in that order, your main house must front in the street. And then your accessory drilling unit have to be high in the back lot, in the, you know, the half 
half 50% of your lot. And some city was requiring that. And, and in some, the like city of Warna, if you have ADU, and one side had to be, uh, uh, I think it is 20 feet, and the other side had to be 15. So in other words, you're using this way and try still, some local jurisdictions still trying to limit the way and possibility you do, but basically the state law, state law ask people, ask the you know, local government say, hey, you have to adapt it, and you can use the, you can know the, still apply your exactly the same design guideline, but you cannot stop them. All right, the to it is totally prohibited. Uh, prohibition is not allowed. You cannot stop the ADU being built, and you cannot stop an ADU being applied, and you cannot, the CIU means the local government, the state tell the local government says, you have to, your approval procedure has to be easy. It's, administrative no, approval. You cannot really try to go to the hearing and go to the CUP. Before like you build a guest house, you might require your neighbor to attending a public hearing or granny house. And then when the second union ordinance no, happened in 2002, and 2000, uh, 2002 and 2005, and then that thing has, has been Eliminated, but still, second union has a lot of you know, the restriction and scare people off. They don't want to you know to build it because there's a lot of additional fee involved. Okay, you require separate you know the uh, gas meter. You require all the separate you know the uh, uh, electrical meter, water meter. Uh, those things extra cost that uh, cost a lot of people. The, the, just initially, they need to pay all these fees, so they scare them off. So you know what? I don't want to build it. <clears throat> all right. So this is the, the case that the ADU you know the uh, um, and they, they're trying to get away from it. And now we are talking about so when you trying to when you trying to you know, uh, help your client and build the ADU, or you're trying to tell them says hey. You know, uh, you can build an ADU and to increase your income. Or you can convert it, existing portion of your building to be an ADU. Before, you always have problem is you have a second kitchen, right? The second kitchen always is a problem. And you, you, you're trying to rent it out. Especially right now, a lot of baby boomer is during the retirement. And their retirement money also has a problem. Again, just like what I said is economic reason. Look at you know, how fast the gasoline price raised up. And look you know, how, how slow your retirement package goes up. Okay, I'm, re I, 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 I'm retiree from Erie County, all right? And I see my boss, right? He got to you know the pretty decent know the retirement. He retired 10 years ago, right? <laughs> and then, at that time, he got his 90% retirement. So which is, he got to know at time, right now, he got a $9,000 a month, wow. right? Wow. Yeah, pretty good, huh? I should stay in the county. Yeah. <laughs> but, but right now you have to you have to see all the tax, all the sales, all deductible right now. By taking out you know, the, all the tax, he probably getting six thousand dollars into the, the his account every month. Alright? And think about this. But helping his son or his daughter or something. Whatever his retirement dream, uh, a dream, is not there. He can maintain his basic living comfortably, but you think he have the money to go travel? Yes. yes. Not really. <laughs> think about this one. Two people, right? You go to you know, the set. We we'll go. Say we we'll go to uh, Alaska, 
right? 1350 a person, seven days. And plus, no, the plus you have to airline ticket and plus all the excursion. So you talk about actually almost you pay $3,000 and that's one month of his retirement money he cannot use. So when he was dreaming and he only get a 3% cost of living adjustment every year, all right? And but with all the notes, the price increase, the construction material, and just you know, this year, January, it raised 33%, boom, like one month. <laughs> the wood no pricing, steel, drywall, drywall, a piece of drywall, each square foot, you know, the union cost from $1.80 and to $2.50 right now. Okay, look at the percentage. Look at the no labor and percentage. And right now we have a less labor pool. I'm not talking about says, hey, you know, that's, there is you no, know, the, we, we do have a lot of illegal immigrants, you know, the help out in the construction, you know, the, you know, we have a lot of temporary labor, really, you know, based on some immigrant help out. And just like all this farm labor, but all this you know, grace up. So even the state has a good intention. Even the local government is cooperated. But who is come with the seed money to build those ADU? We talk about a lot, right? And then but all these people's ADU still not really, really be able with certain things need to, this is actually a business opportunity. If some people can really, really see it. But most of the time I talk to some uh, uh, mortgage company, they're having problem. Because how are you going to come up with some kind of initial funding, help people to you know, get build the ADU and later on get the money back, right? This become very technical. I'm not going to. I think that we, we, this one can go on and go on for months and try to figure out the detail. But the law is there. It's easy. And then the. Uh, uh, but point is, a lot of you know, homeowner they don't have you no know, the initial money to build the ADU. Okay, with no average cost. From those three or five years ago, it's about hundred and hundred ten dollar per square foot for average house. Right now, today, our average house is e easily to be hundred fifty. All right, hundred fifty dollar per square foot to all the way to hundred eighty. And then, if you build a custom house in say in Acadia, two hundred fifty and two hundred eighty is almost minimum. Okay, very very simply. You spend all the seven seven thousand square foot. You spend like almost one point eight million dollar to build it, right? So basically, ADU is there. It's very easy, actually. It's very simple. And when you trying to help out your client, and you can go to the city, ask you know some kind of guideline. Okay, it's very simple to understand. A lot of saying you, I think mainly you need to ask is setback, square footage, location, okay, and parking. Right? You go and tell them, say, you, you, actually most of the time, it's very simple. Right now, Google Earth, right? You go to the city, you tell them an address, the planner will pop up now their Google Earth, you know, the, the Google Earth, the, the picture, you, you ask them, I want to build an ADU, where I can build it? They're going to mark to you, say, oh, you can build right here. See how friendly they are? <laughs> actually, that is, though, the, they are friendly, you know, the most are actually, don't misunderstand the government employee. I was one for 23 years, all right? They don't want to hold on your plan. They don't want to you know, give you a hard time. They want to you know, do their job. But sometimes some people do get out of wrong side of bed at that morning, so just be careful, <laughs> right? 
it's never you know, the you never wrong to bring some donuts or some you know, the you know sweet to them you know, this morning. It's not going to cost you that much. You all know the every time when you're doing the sales, you know, the you need to do a setup or you you do the house. It's going to cost you more. So why don't you spend like ten dollars you know, to buy something? I'm not saying you bribe them. You just say you appreciate them. No yeah. right. they, they will help you out, and then you you show them you know, the what you need and talk nicely. But don't think I I, I hate the most <laughs> when I was a government employee is. We pay you salary. Yeah. <laughs> Are you really? <laughs> Actually, no. You're wrong. <laughs> Let me tell you why you're wrong. Why? All right. They you know the. So what happened is they work on their salary, just like you work on your work too. You don't pay their salary. Their salary is they earned it. All right. It's the same thing. You 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 require their service. You require their service, but because when you say these kind of things, you're kind of hurting them, right? Just like you know, you some sometimes your client says, "Hey, you know what? I pay you no your commission, <laughs> right?" I say, but, but you said, "Yeah, you pay my commission. Doesn't mean you own." I work hard to earn my commission. <laughs> you are service business. I agree. You are service business, but you still, if you don't provide your service, I don't think you earn it anyway. So it's the same thing. When you look at government employee, kind of no pay them respect. They do. They need to work you now, just reading a lot of stuff and try to make sure everything is right. The reason is they they. The government gives them power to enforce certain things. It's not, they're not trying to hurt you. Actually, they're trying to protect you and make sure you and your neighbor and your next door neighbor have got an equal treatment. Okay? That's the so called, you know, the, this kind of you know, the American fairness is everything, everybody obeys the law and nobody above the law. Okay? And that's the law is all about. And the ADU right now is it sounds good, it's easy, but it doesn't really know the doesn't really know the uh, it's not that easy. It's all because of money. Yeah. All right. Where is the money to start building the ADU? Once the ADU can can really publicize and the building in, I believe. Because it's a more affordable union come out, and they will lower the rent, and that's why they think. But did you ever see the rent being lowered? Ever see a real estate? Yeah, real estate company. You know the real estate no situation come down when the economic situation it goes down, but they come back again, re rebound, right? Look at those, uh, what, last year, 2009 and 2010? But they come back again. But was your salary come back that fast? Was not your no pay come back that fast? No, you don't. So actually, the law have a good intention. But no, the impractically, and there's still a lot of technicality that we need to overcome. And an ADU actually is there for a long time. Just think about it, it's like granny house, you no know, gas house, second union. But right now it's much more relaxed. It's very easy on the parking. It's very easy on the setback. We have a case in testing. Uh, not testing, I'm sorry. Um, LC Gondo. Okay, LC Gondo. I think what happened is one of the agents, his son, bought a house in El Segundo, and they have a, a, a garage in the back corner, zero setback. They want to build, he wants to build a second uh, se second story you know, the, on top of that, on top of uh, that garage. And then we did a research for him, and then we find out, yeah, you can build it. And but you can only limit it on the projection of that garage. So there's a lot of those things. Each city are different, 
okay? It's, it's not going to be able to cover the whole thing, but as long as you have the idea of the, you know, the, how the ADU is going to work, and then you go into the, you know, the planning, you can always find out the answer and just give them the address and pull out, or you take your iPad or something, pull out the Google Earth and ask them to point out for me where you node know, can build it, how big I can build it. Normally 50% rule and 1,200 square foot maximum. All right, thank you very much.